Yeah. Now, so far you have given me the answer of your first question that why you yeah. wanted to learn this language. And now in particular, what you wanted to ace on, like what you exactly you wanted to nourish. My name is Satyam Sharma and I'm from Himachal Pradesh. Though at the moment I'm living off its capital Shimla. I've done my graduation in tour and travel management and currently I'm working as an as in travel consultant actually. And uh, part time I'm like uh, teaching English too. How about you? Okay. So this is Shahid and I'm from India, but I'm living in uh, Oman right now. And right. I like to, my hobbies are, I like, I like to play cricket and uh, I like to listen to music. Yeah, these are my hobbies. Okay, you are living in Oman. Yes. All right, Middle Middle East, right? right. Yeah. Okay, okay. May I know what is the currency there? The currency is uh, 213. Oh, like what we call specifically, like in particular, what is the name of the currency? Dinar? No, Rial. We call Rial. Rial. So one Rial. Yes, uh -huh. one day one day equal to 213 uh, in, in the rupees. Rupees. To convert. Yes, absolutely. One real equals to 213. 213. 213, yes, absolutely. 213. More than dollar and pound even, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Wow, cool. So um, what hobbies did you say? Could you please say that again? Yeah, I like to play cricket mm -hmm. and I listen to music. Yeah, as well. Yeah. All right. So in Oman, even we can find people who are fascinated towards cricket. Mm, here, yes, here, you know, uh, many places they have a, they have one team, and they where where I go, you know, like my previous side is in in Barka. So there, people also they play cricket there also. And here okay. now my side has changed it. It is mm -hmm. I'm right now I'm doing in Nizwa in Oman. So here All is right. also people they play cricket. So like I think in in Oman also like many people they play. But let, let me tell you one thing like not native people they play cricket here. Like mm -hmm. who you know come from India, who come from Pakistan, who come from All right. uh, Bangladesh, they play okay, cricket. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So for them, even it's like uh, easy enough to find the playground. Like suppose at the weekends, Sunday, Saturday, you mm -hmm. guys wish to play. So like, like, will it be fine enough to find a playground for you? Yes, 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 yes. I cannot say it is. It is easy available. But mm -hmm. yes, here who have you know who have cars. So they they find you know the some place some ground. Like and they make team and then they uh, like they they go with they go by car, yeah. Okay, wow, cool. It's uh, <clears throat> really interesting. Actually, one of my elder brother, he's also living in Dubai, and uh, he also uh, like uh, he shares his like stories on Instagram that how he used to play cricket at weekends. <laughs> so it's really one of the most fascinating game of the world. Okay. All right, so let's go with that topic. Would mm -hmm. what about what about you? Do you play cricket? I used to play a lot when I was kid, because that time anyhow I was connected to what like I was uh, considering cricket as my career as well. So you know what? Actually, we live here in the mountains. Okay. And here in mountains, very difficult to find a ground. I mean, a ground like, I mean, here in the mountains, it's very hard to find a straight pitch. So we used to play on roads. We used to play like there are cricket stadiums as well. Uh, do you know about Dharamshala? Yeah, I've heard it, but I don't, I don't aware about Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, not aware is, uh, yeah, it is in Himachal Pradesh uh, uh, stadium. It is very beautiful stadium. Uh, lies in between uh, the mountains. Looks really uh, spectacular. So uh, we also used to go sometime whenever the IPL IPL goes. So then we also used to go there and to watch matches. So, but so, like, uh, <laughs> so you watch like you watch cricket, but you don't play like. Like yeah, these days I'm 
these days like uh, you don't play because of you don't have in salon you there's no any ground there i think people are also not people are also not there because no, it is very hard to find the people you know because all are busy yeah all are busy and uh, at the same time actually the thing here is we have a uh, like like we used to play on a road so what are the disadvantages on playing on a road that suppose if you hit harder the ball either the ball will go into the dike you know or somewhere like um, on the mountains so then again we have to go to find that ball i mean even the playing that simple game was not easier for us uh, like that could i can consider one of the major reason that's why we now don't play it anymore so when is the thing. last time we remember last time actually um one month before i was in chandigarh do you know chandigarh yes i know chandigarh it, yeah yeah it is like there we cannot see mountains it is a plain area so that time i was there with some of my friends and we used to play in the park Okay. Okay. Last time you played one month ago. Okay. Yeah, that was really um, memorable. I cannot still forget it. All right. So let's jump. Like, would you like to correct me during the conversation, or would you like to give me the feedback at the end? Yeah, you would correct me, you know, at the end of the conversation because you know, between the conversation, if you interrupt me, so I will forget my sentences. So that's why. Right. Don't worry, you will not feel interruption because of me. <laughs> I'm a very yeah, easy no, guy. <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, it seemed like yeah. So, did you come here first time? Is it is it your first session here? No, it is not my first conversation. I take uh, many session. I have taken many session. All oh, right, you have taken. Okay, it's not the first time you're coming on Ink Talkie, right? No. Yes, absolutely. All right, cool. So. What's your purpose to learning this language, and what exactly you wanna is your fluency, grammar, pronunciation? What exactly? Uh, so, so you have a two question. You you ask two question, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can you can answer one by one. <laughs> yeah. So, like uh, my purpose of uh, learning this, you know, like uh, in this uh, in these days, you know, like all people they are learning this language, and they and if in, if you go anywhere, so they speak English. Like if you go to the interview, and if you go to the, you know, the some uh, some some places, you know, so also they people they speak in they speak English, and there are many reasons actually. When I watch. Uh, uh, web series when i watch any uh, drama okay any movie so they use english there even yeah, exactly. the program and uh, you know uh, so you know even the the drama was that the drama is hindi or the movie is hindi but in mm -hmm. between you know some place they use english you know and uh, actually i was i actually in a couple of years ago i was watching big boss show okay and most okay. of the time the candidate you know when they fight each other they mm -hmm. they they speak english there okay so that's why you know, like i was thinking of what what did he say and what did he uh, what did he say so i was mm -hmm. like i was very like a, a conscious about i was feeling embarrassed also you know i don't mm -hmm. i was i was I, i didn't know english and i have to learn english language because how can i survive you know in this world because like in yeah, gener in like in coming in in upcoming generation i think most of the people they speak english and they already like it in because of you know the uh, school you know all school now it convert in hindi to english medium so like upcoming children they used to speak they, they when they when they like if they speak english you know and they come mm -hmm. in english school so if i if i was if i you know if i am not able to speak so how i will how how i will uh, communicate with them you know in future indeed <laughs> so yeah so that's the reason there are many reason apart yeah. yeah now so far you have given me the answer of your first question that why you yeah. wanted to learn this language and now in particular what you wanted to ace on like what you exactly you wanted to nourish your like fluency pronunciation or grammar what what do you think we are exactly you are lacking 
uh, i'm lacking in my pronunciation but yes right. like uh, but in you know in pronunciation and uh, fluency okay, also like uh, i'm lacking yes there are two things and but pronunciation it it come i think uh, you know uh, it come it will come it will come i will learn it uh, pronunciation but you know there are some words it is long you know so that time i am not able to uh, sound good when i when i like when i pronounce some words all right yeah exactly actually it comes by the time slowly and steadily uh, the more you practice the more your muscles of you know mouth they start getting habituated of like how to pronounce exactly the stuffs so it's not a big deal and um, we are almost you know running 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 from the time it's almost 13 minutes we didn't oh. even discuss the topic either <laughs> and uh, like time went very fast yeah yeah exactly because i i believe that we even couldn't get the time of breath in between isn't it <laughs> absolutely like yeah hope you will you will you will you will connect me again and we nourish your english together yeah definitely we, i will connect with you again and mean later uh, maybe in next class next session and we will talk about the topic also yeah exactly exactly then we will start uh, actually i'm student of tourism and uh, fortunately the topic of the day was travel i like traveling right. i done my graduation in tourism tour and travel management so i would say there would be a lot to talk on it right and to share the insights what do you think about it and what i all right so at the end i would say that uh, your communication skills like you are doing really great just all you need to work on the pronunciation for that what all or like what all you can do just first go with the video what kind of mm -hmm. accent you want to acquire right so just mm -hmm. for like uh, search that video on a youtube watch it mm -hmm. for maybe one or two time and then take a book and then speak okay. as the same as you watch from the video right try to Yeah, exactly. Like try to copy. That it. Okay. That's meant it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Try to uh, like a uh, copy it and uh, do it again and again. Like uh, or right. uh, yeah, by observing your improvement. When you see that, hmm. alright, the last time I did in that way, now I have to work on that vocabulary. So then it will slowly and steadily show you the difference as well. Okay. Alright. Yeah. So that's the practice you can do for the first session. uh but um at the end i would say it was really a spectacular conversation with you yes absolutely and such a nice conversation because you are talking very calm and cool way you know you are not heavy okay and uh, as you pause some time you give time to me to speak so that i want you know so that's why i'm also having session because you know yeah. i'm here to speak more and more you know and uh, this is how like uh, i think i i will improve yeah yeah exactly so strategy stra I mean, yes mm -hmm. yeah time is time is time is almost done strategy really matters right so i hope we will connect again and so good you did really well thank you so much and you are most welcome and we will meet soon